Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Small-minded people blame others. Average people blame themselves. The wise see all blame as foolishness. Don't seek to have events happen as you wish, but wish them to happen as they do happen, and all will be well with you. If evil be said of thee, and if it be true, correct thyself. If it be a lie, laugh at it. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Other people's views and troubles can be contagious. Don't sabotage yourself by unwittingly adopting negative, unproductive attitudes through your associations with others. We are not disturbed by what happens to us, but by our thoughts about what happens to us. Don't seek to have events happen as you wish but wish them to happen as they do happen, and all will be well with you. The flourishing life cannot be achieved until we moderate our desires and see how superficial and fleeting they are. A ship should not ride on a single anchor, nor life on a single hope. Although we can't control which roles are assigned to us, it must be our business to act our given role as best we possibly can and to refrain from complaining about it wherever you find yourself and in whatever circumstances give an impeccable performance. Don't try to seem wise to others the key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. When your thoughts, words, and deeds form a seamless fabric, you streamline your efforts and thus eliminate worry and dread. It's time to stop being vague. If you wish to be an extraordinary person, if you wish to be wise, then you should explicitly identify the kind of person you aspire to become. If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. Don't explain your philosophy, embody it. A half-hearted spirit has no power, tentative efforts lead to tentative outcomes. Average people enter into their endeavors headlong and without care. Only the educated are free. The greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. Skillful pilots gain their reputation from storms and tempests. To accuse others for one's own misfortune is a sign of want of education. To accuse oneself shows that one's education has begun. To accuse neither oneself nor others shows that one's education is complete. First learn the meaning of what you say and then speak. Circumstances don't make the man, they only reveal him to himself. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Care take this moment, immerse yourself in its particulars. Respond to this person, this challenge, this deed. Quit evasions, stop giving yourself needless trouble it is time to really live, to fully inhabit the situation you happen to be in now. It is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. There is only one way to happiness, 
and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power or our will. He who laughs at himself never runs out of things to laugh at. When we blather about trivial things, we ourselves become trivial, for our attention gets taken up with trivialities. You become what you give your attention to. It is not so much what happens to you as how you think about what happens. First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. Getting distracted by trifles is the easiest thing in the world. Focus on your main duty. He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. God has entrusted me with myself. No man is free who is not master of himself. A man should so live that his happiness shall depend as little as possible on external things. The world turns aside to let any man pass who knows where he is going. Seek not the good in external things, seek it in yourselves. I laugh at those who think they can damage me. They do not know who I am, they do not know what I think, they cannot even touch the things which are really mine and with which I live. Authentic happiness is always independent of external conditions. People shouldn't have many friends because you'll get tired of getting knives out of your back. If you would be a reader, read. If a writer, write. Preach not to others what they should eat, but eat as it comes you and be silent. <laughs>